Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. So we are on Not Ouija's account. Sorry if I am pronouncing it wrong, but I know that you're our Patreon. I really appreciate the support. I will try my best to give you my best thoughts on where you're at in the game and how you could improve further. So I took a quick look at your record and I did notice that you are lower than me. So I do hope that I could give some useful advice. Let's take a look at this account and he's an avid siege player. I've been asking these account owners what they want to hear about specifically so that I could give more of a thorough account review on where they want to improve on. Before I've been very vague and generic because I was talking about everything essentially and just about like regular arena. I have been getting their input and this accounter is an avid siege player so I, I want to try to give him more opinions there. And then I also will talk about his arena defense because he said that his arena defense rate is a little low. But yeah, let's get into this review and see what I can do. Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. So let's take a look at his record so everybody can see. From the profile, we see he has two LD95s, right? He, I see a Chroma and then I see a Xiong Zhao Lao. I think that's how you pronounce his name. The Dark Monkey King, which we saw a lot in Reddit recently, where this person got three. He had one and then he got two LD Lightnings and they're both Dark Monkey King. He said he was crying. And I would have too. But anyways, if you look at the record, you can see that his arena was C3 and I see why he wants to get some opinions on his arena defense. He probably wants to get that red star. So we're going to try our best to give him some thought there. World Arena is F1. I guess he's just not an RTA player because if you have the runes to get to C3, I'm pretty sure you have the runes to get to F3 <laughs> in RTA or even shoot for C1 at least. Guilds in G1, everything else looks good. He's doing all the dungeons. Okay. Let's look at his monster box because he did want some opinions with his siege and arena defense. He has a lot of units. Okay, so I see two vigors and two lulus already. So siege player, right? He's I see double twins. A lot of good units. So you have some math. So as soon as he sees some math, it kind of gives me the thought on why you can't run a fast defense. So we'll see if you could check that out and look at your room quality there. Do you have a triton? No, you don't have a triton. Well, it could, it could be here. You have a Leo, so I'm pretty sure your arena offense is fine. You have a Chung Pung, but do you have a Tiana? You have Pung Baek. So if you have Chung Pung, Pung Baek, I hope you see my Chung Pung, Pung Baek AO video because it's awesome, but you don't have a Tiana. You don't have a Tiana, so you can't go that route. I'm sorry. But other than that, you have a lot of good units. You have a lot of good units, and I see why you want to do Siege or you want to get some opinions on your siege defense. It looks like you have two fire and bison, two chung pongs. Would I keep these? I actually will never keep both of these. Chung pong is questionable. If chung pong was used a lot in siege, then maybe, but right now, for you, especially seeing how many Nat 5s you had, I would just use it as a blessing so that you there's a chance for you to get a new Nat 5 that you really want, such as the Tiana. That's my that's my thought. I think I would just grind them into into blessings. It's same for like this Varad if it's a dupe. And any other Nat 5 that you have is a dupe. Okay, let's take a look at the runes. And after I take a look at the runes, we'll build him a AD that I think they should run, and then we'll look at a siege. So if we look at speed and look at swift, everything is selected. His fastest is a 25, then a 21. So swift rune, slot one, pretty weak. Slot 3, 26, and then 25, okay, 24, a lot stronger than slot 1, I like that. Slot 4, 27, there you go. 27, 25, 23, 20, not bad, not bad. Then, ooh, what is that monstrosity? 
I mean, I'm just saying this because it's so much weaker than your other slots, okay? It's not that bad if you take it into like a F3 player, but as a C3 player and also looking at the other slots, this is really bad. I would work on improving this slot. The next one is another 20 and then 19. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't get one plus 18 blue rune that could be 22. It's pretty sad actually. So I will work on improving that slot and then finally here 25. 21, 20, okay. So three, four is pretty good. One, one, six is okay. And then five is horrible. Horrible, horrible. If anything, I would focus on GB12 here just to improve that one slot. Okay, let's look at violent. Slot one, 31, yes. Whoa, that's a beautiful rune there. It could be 32. I don't know what you're doing and I don't know if you watched my video regarding efficient runes and how you perfect runes but this is a rune that you need to perfect oija if, if i'm pr pronouncing your name wrong i'm sorry but you really need to work on perfecting your runes because if i were you i will be slapping this until this becomes a 32 speed rune yes 31 is fast but 32 is a totally different story and then i'll be going for that plus 10 here with the legend gem i mean with the legend grind obviously and a plus 10 here and then a 500 plus here so i will work on that but it's an awesome rune nonetheless and then 24 yeah i'll be surprised if you had two of those runes so there's that slot 3 24 23 okay then 30 oh my goodness another 31 now let me look at this please okay you give it a five okay but again i would work on giving it a plus 10 here and a plus 10 here and then if anything i don't know if you agree and you can disagree, you can it, but if I were you, I would gem this for a defense legend. That's just me. I just want to, I just like to get all percentage stats where I can here. And then I like to get crit rate, crit damage on slot 3 and 5 and 1, because there are certain percentage stats you can't get on those runes. For example, slot 1, you can't get defense percentage, right? So it, instead of that spot, I would like it to have crit rate or crit damage. Same for slot 3, it can't have attack percentage. So in that slot, I would want, like crit rate or crit damage or accuracy, who knows? Because you get more, so you know what I'm saying. Because of that, for rune, for slots like 4, where it could get all the stats like this, it's because it's a crit damage rune, I would like to gem a defense percentage here. But it's up to you, that's just me. Okay, here, and then 22, another pretty nice rune actually. And again, same logic, I would get rid of the resistance and put in an HP percentage gem. Okay, slot 5, 26, 21, okay, only one fast rune. And finally, six, slot 6, 25, 23, okay, 20. Your Violet runes are much, much stronger than your Swift runes. Okay, now let's go to Will, slot 1, 26, 22. Okay, not bad, still better than your Swift slot ones. And then slot 3, 25, 21, that's a little weak. Slot 4 is 19, okay, so we definitely see a weak slot here. And then 23, 22, and then 21, 20. Okay, so your will runes are definitely the weakest. So if anything, I will start on working on MB12, then GB12, and then DB12. And while you're at it, if you have time, do raid. And try to get those gems, grinds, to perfect your runes. I think perfecting runes really gets you far. Now let's take a look at his arena defense. I believe that a team like this should be at least winning one. So let's see what's wrong with it. Violent energy. So that's already something wrong. It should be violent will. It should be fully scaled up. If you really don't want to keep that other M Bison, you could use it as a scale up. <laughs> you really can. So that's it's wrong already. Let's see here. Despair will. This is another thing wrong. I will get rid of the will on uh, the more. And I will make it much faster because I think you're sacrificing too much speed to get it on a will set. Yeah, like this. It doesn't need to be on a crit damage set, so I don't know why you're going crit damage, but that's wrong. And then Rakan is too wrong. It should be on Violent, Vampire, Swift. And some people might question why Swift, but Swift works, guys. Due to his recent change, his strip into Provoke Everybody, it's pretty nice. And a lot of AOs don't really bring in will, and you'll be surprised because... My Chung Pung Pung Bank AO does not have will. Okay, so if you have, if you can outspeed, you can win. 
However, you have to keep in mind that Rokan's base speed kind of sucks. Well, it just sucks. Not kind of. And then let's look at Riley. Probably the only thing that's in the right build. Yeah. Whoa, even this. Why is it Violent Endure? You need to get Violent Slot 6 Resistant Runes. If by, by doing that, you will not need a Endure set. But wow, I just noticed that this is not fully scaled up. Scale it up. Okay, there's just too many things that are wrong. So let's take these out and ask why you wouldn't just go a fast team. Because right now your defense rate is 6%, which is garbage, right? It's true garbage right there. Um, I might even use a Darien. Go 100 res, Darien could work too. Really nice. Obviously, this is a very generic defense that everybody knows about. You would go with the Poseidon. Sorry, you would go with the Triton. But actually, I, I just noticed, why are we even doing this? Because you have a AD unit that is just so good. Well, not so good, but really good. That's the Akroma. First of all, your Akroma is too slow. Like, yes, they bring in a good passive, but you really need to be giving them speed. And you also needed to give them skill ups. And you might think that Akroma is not that good, but I see some Akroma, de Akroma defenses in G2, G3. So I would actually put Darien here too. You have to give it 100 resistance because there is Pung back now. If this guy gets defense broken, you're screwed. You need another for a protection, and that will be the Triana. So here now, if you put 100 res on, on her and 100 res on him, let's say Galleon defense breaks. If Galleon defen defense breaks and he gets a defense break on the on the Darien but fails to get it on the Triana, now it's really up to their reset if they get the reset on Triana or not. If they don't, they're screwed. If they do, yeah, then you're screwed already. Defenses are meant to lose really up to procs and RNG. That's all you have to hope for. So you have to look at the possibility on how to get the most RNG. So the best thing is they both don't get defense broken. And even if the Triana gets reset, you will probably survive because there is the Darien passive. If the Darien gets defense broken, but the Triana does not get reset, then again, you survive. Now, if they both get defense broken and she gets reset, then you're kind of screwed. You just accept the loss, right? But then at that point, you could hope for the Akromas glancing to come in or a critical hit getting, getting reduced by 15%, 15 whatever you want to call it. And then finally, you need some damage and control, which I would like as probably like a Carnal like you had out. Or even, you could even put in the Rokan here now. Yeah, because Rokan scales off HP very well, but I will change the, this build. It will be a violent build or a vampire build, really tanky. You might, you don't even have to go uh, crit damage, Slot 6. You could go full HP because this guy does damage that proportions to his max HP. So I will just go HP, HP, HP. I will make all your team just around 100 speed. Like you don't have to go, well this is 100 speed, but I will make it 100 speed and you should be able to make them with slot 2 HP or slot 2 defense, whatever you want to do it to make these guys tankier. But everybody should be like plus 30 at least, plus 30k HP. And if you can, some other unit should be plus 40k HP with the artifacts, plus the artifacts, right? So that's what I will do. I think this defense could work, and it would actually get a lot more wins than what you have up right now. If you don't want to go Durakan, you could go like Perna. If you have Perna, yeah, you have Perna. You could go Perna. Perna is also a very good unit here, because now she heals herself and the entire team. So that's pretty good. Or you could even go... No, I think those two are the best, because they have a strip. I think you do need some kind of strip, and that's why I didn't pick out the M Bison. Or maybe you could even use the Dark Monkey here, because Dark Monkey does strip. Right? Yeah, it does strip. But it is pretty conditional, right? You need a Dark Monkey to use skill 2 and into skill 3. You could decide, try all 3 and see what's the best build you can make. But that's what I'll do. Let's take a look at your Siege and how you're doing. You won, okay, you're in G1 Siege. Let's see your contribution. 160, not bad. Not bad, your defense got some wins. Let's see what they did. Okay, whoa, okay, so you're a very good Siege player. I don't know why you won't want recommendations from me, but it looks like you're doing well. It looks like you're doing well. I actually don't have much to say because you are doing well. Um, if you look at the builds, Sometimes you don't even have to go focus here. 
she, he could work on like 30% accuracy and try to get a lot of accuracy from this. Um, or you could just go for speed. It sucks that there's no there's no um, skill ups on Orion here. So that's that's probably bad. This might not get as many wins as you hope for. Because it is a very old defense, but it is G1. Here, okay, violent. Interesting. I mean, I went violent too, but my violent was much faster. But this is G1. Not skilled up. Not skilled up. I don't know what you chose to skill up from the event, but Escher was probably a good option because Escher is used a lot in RTA too. Okay, a crit damage, Triana. It looks too Lucianable to me. And unless you have a tower of these, I think some people will try a Lucian. And if they win it, win against it once, it'll just be free. So I might change this. Or at least like put a swift set on the Escher to trick them. I, I just think it's too easy to Lucian. Here, how fast are Clara? Okay. At least you gave it will because knowing it's slow. Okay. That's the same one. This is an okay build. I like that. A little low on the crit rate. Even with the 15% because yes, he does get elemental advantage. That's still 78. That's a little low. You might want to use the use the deal lead and switch out the Kamun. Did this get any wins? Can I, can I touch it? Yeah. So if I do this and take this out, a lot of common things that's happening in G3 is Perna there. I'm running that defense. You could run the Rakan here actually. It might be better. Rakan. Because you only have one Perna, right? I think that's about it. I think I'll just put the Rakan there. Yep. I'll run this kind of defense. This is what I'll do. Again, these defenses are much more effective if they are stacked. I'm not going to change it right now, but that's my recommendation. Everything else looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like you have two Tyrannuses, something I used to run a long time ago. Um, do you have an Odin? I wonder if you have an Odin. If you did have an Odin, um, I'll go with a Draco, uh, Odin, Draco, and Tessarium team. Like, I don't know if you have it, though. Probably not. Probably that's the reason why you're not running it. Yeah. But if you did, that's a team I'll run as well. Uh, anything good here? Harmonia is very good in that four defenses. It looks like you don't have much. You're running two of these. I guess you guys have a stack of it. But Harmonia, Harmonia Vigor plus one is also very strong. Usually Kinky is the most common, but you could have any other damage dealer on that spot. That's pretty tanky. Like even the Skogo at that spot will be fine. It's just replacing the Kamun. Kamun kind of died off. Um, but in G1, maybe it's working really well in this in this level. So it's really up to you. Okay, but that's all I have to say. I think you're doing really well in Siege. I know you just want to do better. But the real only defense that I'll change is that Theo defense. And I will replace it with the Rakan. But that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything else that you guys want to see in Summon's World, please put a comment below. And also, if you guys don't agree with the comments that I gave this account owner, please also put that in the comments so that the account owner can read it. Uh, but that is it. Um, I'll continue on these reviews as much as I can. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.